Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Breath of Fire 2. Uh, sorry the last video had some sort of mic popping, but, uh... It actually came out a lot better than I was kind of expecting, so I'm going to continue to try and record videos even as Eigel and her epic showdown with Makoto uh, processes. It's not something anyone can do. In order to join, you also need some powers. If you want to join with me, you better have a big... Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, yes, we understand. If you're an anaconda don't got buns, I want on something. Let's just get on with it. I think I may have botched the lyrics to that. Here we go. Please go to the center of the circle. <laughs> Please go... Isn't there anything here? There's nothing. Not even like old lady stuff. I need to get out of here. It's okay, I feel I can join with you. So go to the center, please. Oh, hot. This is way sexier than Rumble Roses, folks. But nowhere near as sexy as the Warriors with Rembrandt. I was <laughs> going, Hey, yeah, one with the power of fire, Sana. Oh, everything burns, is what the Avatar says after sleeping with Sana. Because he caught up in folks. Spin to win, wee, zap a and. Oh, there's a little explosion of energy at his crotch. That's, uh, appropriate. Uh, what is this power? This power is too strong, Jade! Oh. They actually blew the roof off the joint with their lovemaking. Oh no, what have I awakened? Is it Jethro? That's my uh, Michael Cole impression, folks. Uh, he doesn't do SmackDown anymore, I guess, but for many years when I was a SmackDown viewer, there was uh, one thing you could count on, is that at some point during an episode, Teddy Long would say, and your opponent is gonna be the Undertaker! And Michael Cole would go, oh my, with shock, no matter how many times that happened. Who would have imagined you had the power of the dragon? When we tried to join, I was driven off. Don't you find me attractive? The power of the dragon was too strong for Jade! Our shaman power throws us against Jade! But I'm surprised that the power of the dragon still exists, Jade! He didn't work very hard to fit that last jet in. I mean, our house is gone. No problem, no problem. Who cares about that? Well, perhaps Jade cares. We have the power of the dragon with us now. Uh, Jed. Come back here! Why are you trying to escape? I pulled out the power of the dragon from within you. I reached in to your manhood and pulled out something to make you say I quit. You will give us at least a new house in return, won't you? What? We kidnapped you and tried to rape you. Won't you give us a house? We won't ask for much. I just want a soft bed, a roomy bath, a loft, and hardwood floors, and a room for joining experiments, and that's all we need. Oh, uh -huh, that's about it. Please find us a house. We need to go live at the cement pond. Oh. Okay, so there's no point being here. But next my party. Am I gonna get killed here? This could be bad news, folks. This could seriously be bad news. Unless I escape like a coward. Well, let's try to hunt without weapons that you can use for hunting purposes. <laughs> that was stupid. Oh, great, I'm looking at the video as it processes, and it's just a nice shot of Eigel's butt. What? You want to join with me? You came back to the village looking very frustrated. What? Oh, this is a great house! Jay! Bow, wow, wow, yeah, but what do you want, baby? Move out of the way! I'm always getting pushed around by women. Hey, Avatar, what is that? Are you hitting on an old lady? I'd like to get me a piece of that action. What gives them in the house? Uh, ooh. Give all room to that granny. Granny's off a slapping round, bitch. Uh, ooh. I mean, I worked really hard to build our room. Yeah, well, too bad, bro. It's a nice house, but we don't need the room for joining Jane. But we do need the room for joining Jane. Hey, Carpenter, would you make us one, Jane? 
Granny, I am not a carpenter. I'm a dog. Can't you tell that I'm a freaking dog? You want a dog to build your house, bitch? Besides, that's my room, baby. Say, I want to redo this house in pastels. Would you call a carpenter? Hey, are you listening to me? Did you build this house? Will you protect this house? You did a wonderful job, carpenter. Yeah, well, I'm not. I wonder what's wrong with the carpenter. He's a punk ass bitch, that's what's wrong. That's not fair, Avatar. That was my room, baby, but you must have a good reason for what you're doing. Is it wet? Is it wet? No, this bed isn't wet. Oh, I forgot to check the fact and see what uh, ar architect I need to hire. The more programs I am running, including something as, uh, you know, low resource sucking as Internet Explorer, the more likely it is that one of the two videos that I'm working right now is going to completely goof. Let's go see if Nina is still called Zero Four. What? Remodel the house? Joining? What the heck is that? I don't know how to do that. My wife and I have never joined. You'll have to get a real carpenter. You'll have to get a real carpenter. Hey, mister, I've got a question. I already told you. On the off chance it affects something, if you don't keep answering the same way, I'll send you an again. Not to creep anybody out, but, uh... And I do actually have some female viewers. Like, almost a third of my views are from females, according to my insight thing. And, um, my female viewers, demographically speaking, are way younger than my male viewers, for whatever reason. Hope they're not all watching Rumble Roses and deciding I'm a freakish perv. But, um, on that note... Your face seems different somehow. You look tougher and stronger. <laughs> Thanks, Nina. You looks good, too. But, yeah, if you, if you were in the position of, like, you know, if it's some kind of anti-Twilight where there's some guy choosing between two hot ladies who are um, both supernatural creatures. Uh, but one of them is an angel with wings on her back, and the other one is a cat woman. I think you'd have to go with a person whose um, plumbing is human, if you get what I'm saying, you know? A girl comes and talks to him, and he leaves with her. What a douche. Well, you know, you're not putting out enough, cat. That's the problem. Maybe if you treated me a little better, I wouldn't have this wanderlust says the Avatar. I'm getting a chance to talk to the Avatar more in this game. That's nice. I like the Avatar and his incredible dickishness about the world. <laughs> but I still don't get to choose a party that doesn't include frickin' Sten. And uh, now we have to journey back to that town again. Maybe that'll take the whole video and while I'm off camera I'll have a chance to figure out what the heck's carpenter I want to get. One thing I've decided I don't think I'm going to do is show you all the different carpenters because um, that would take forever. I do think I'm going to try and show you both the good and the bad ending, although that's going to be significantly more work in this game than it was in the uh, previous game because, excuse me, the determining decision on which ending you get is much earlier in the game in Breath of Fire 2 than it was in Breath of Fire 1. So I'll have a certain amount of, uh, if I do make that call, and uh, I guess now I kind of have to because I just admitted it on air, oops, that it was a possibility, but um, I have a pretty significant amount of playing off screen and not recording it so that I can progress two save state adventures at once, one with the good ending all queued up and ready to go, and one with the bad ending all queued up and ready to go. Oh, but I did... I, I have magical power now, don't I? Yes! They didn't... I guess they didn't make it clear. Maybe they made it clear to you, and I'm just too thick. But, um... I can now become Fur Puppy, Ice Puppy, or Tea Puppy. And if I were Jerry the King Lawler, I'd start shrieking about puppies and probably be playing and watching Rumble Roses instead of Breath of Fire. I've got Rumble Roses on the brain today, and it's because of that stupid Eichel video that's been processed 800 times over trying to get... It just sync up. So apologies for those of you who are trying to ignore those pervy Let's Plays and concentrate on the RPG Let's Plays. I will stop talking about Eichel now. Eichel, no, talk about Eichel. T 
Cat hope great father and brother watching I go, I mean cat. Do you sound like an ugly boy? Yeah, if I'm hoping to avoid sync issues with this video, uh, constantly using fast forward function probably ain't helping. Cutter attack. The Dr. Cutter attack. Dr. Cutter is a character from Wait 4, Wait 4, Rumble Roses. Okay, now let's uh, have Cat whack her stick at something for no reason. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Thank you, Sten, for having long arms. Now you can leave. Take the back door. Doo -doo -doo. I'll talk to you about Wendy someday, Avatar. What's my name? Starts being 04. Photo Dragon Blade. Now, see, the Geico commercials with the cavemen, I thought the first one, maybe two, were funny. Geico commercials with the gecko never really got what was supposed to be so freaking hilarious about that thing. K Goblin, please. K Goblin butt stick on K Rock Morning Zoo. <laughs> We'd better get out of this K Goblin territory because if I make that joke every time I encounter those enemies, you're gonna come to dread those enemies. It's K Rock and butt stick on the K Z Morning Zoo. Or K Goblin. I didn't even do it right that time. Oh no, our defense went down and K Goblin's gonna whoop her. I probably should consider saving here, but, um... Just in case something horrible happens to Cat, but... I can't be bothered. Okay, well now I really do need to figure out which of these architects I'm gonna hire. Though it's the middle of the night, so I might not be able to hire any of them. Do I want to hire... This Middle Eastern architect? Avatar, thank you. What would have happened if we didn't get rid of the monster? Here, you're alive. Let me do something for you. What, you want me to build you a house? Oh, I'm pretty sure you don't want him. Um, we're not quite at 15 minutes yet. Um, I guess I'll pause and do some off-screen research here. Be back in a moment, folks. Okay, folks, we're back. Um, I found a fact that tells you what kind of stuff you get from each... Uh, this guy will give us... Um, a pub-like house with customers telling you miscellaneous stats about your game, according to the guy whose fact. Uh, I think his name is Representative, that's his internet handle, and he claims that that is a futuristic house. If you go to the tree houses, you get the ability to um, get like an Othello-like game, it says, and uh, if you go to this guy, he's always available no matter how many people you save. Uh, which makes it seem like he's to be the least good, but he actually has the best thing that he gives you, which is the ability to, quote, cook items. The monster zoomed off, then wang, bang, thank you, ma'am. Everything was crazy. Thank you so much for saving my husband and child, who likes to talk about wangs. Thank you very much for saving us. If there is anything I can do, please don't hesitate. Do let me know. What, do you want me to build you a house? Yes. What, you want me to build you a house? But why? I'm not doing that. Forget it. I mean, oh, you burned the old lady's house. Wow, what a jerk. That's really something. It will be my pleasure. It's about finding joy. It's about finding pleasure. So all I have to do is go to that village and build a house as the old lady wants it. You can leave it to me. Well, I guess I'll get going. I hope I don't get killed by monsters on the way. Thank you for stealing my daddy away. Wee. And now, can I get on with the story? Phew, the boat has finally returned. Rumor has it the woman that looks like a bad one to see my heart. Why am I talking like a woman? But the fire one also had like a really involved scene if you wandered around a dock, didn't it? Ooh, fade away. All right, folks, the incredible nautical journey is about to begin, and, oh, it's over. All right, now we have uh, reached the other side of a water gap that, for some reason, the monkey guy couldn't cross this time. Um, when we come back, folks, we will explore a whole new continent of excitement and adventure. Uh, hope you'll come with me for that.